I'm gonna show you how to hang doors just like this with the blue motion soft close hinges. First thing we're gonna do is drill holes. I use a little Craig, I don't know, it's a Craig jig. I don't know which one it is, what it's called. It's a thing for making hinge holes. So anyways, I have my offset set to five millimeters. That is this guy right here. That's just how far in the uh, hinges are. Uh, these are all full overlay uh, doors on there and it just seems to work for me. Um, I do the hinges three inches up from the top and the bottom. So on mine, I just kind of highlighted the three inches with a marker so I don't mess that up. Then we're gonna repeat that step two more times. Next thing to do is to line up your hinges. Uh, you can measure it, you can mark it, you can do whatever you do. I use my eyeball. I, I trust my eyes to get a straight line within, what is that, half an inch or so. Uh, so I just use my eye, get it lined up, and then pre-drill the holes. And then once the holes are pre-drilled, then you can come back with the screws and zip them in. And we're gonna repeat that for the other two. This next step will vary depending on what plates you're using. I'm using face frame plates, even though I am doing frameless cabinets, but in this case, it just, it works out really well. So I'm gonna clip these in ahead of time for all three of them. If you were gonna be using the other clips for frameless cabinets that are already in there, then those would already be in place and you gotta measure off of that. But this is just the simplest way to do it for me with this situation. Why am I doing my hands in front? I do not know. Real quick side thing, no idea if I'm in the frame, but it, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if you're having a finished product and you're drilling the holes in there, make sure you have something soft underneath the doors so you're not marring up the face. Uh, Cause that would be horrible to finally get to that final step. You're so excited, you're almost done. And then now you have nicks and scratches and all sorts of, th sorts of things in your paint or your finish. Um, that definitely ruins a good day. So make sure you put something down such as blankets like this or sanding pad or whatever. Just put something soft down. Make sure there's nothing in there that's gonna damage the door. Um, take care of the doors while you're doing this so nothing bad happens. All right, so now in this case, um, I'm gonna have the door be an eighth inch up from the bottom of the, well, from the bottom. So I just have a piece that I have that I keep that is an eighth inch thick. Put that down there and then I'm gonna set the door on top of that to get everything lined up. This can be the tricky part, uh, just depending on how good you are at balancing things and how everything lines up. But I usually start with the middle one, get everything so it looks good, and start with the middle one, just put one screw in there just to kind of hold it in place. Perfect. Now I can go through and put the rest of the screws in. And once I get everything screwed in, I'm gonna tip the cabinet back a little bit, pull my spacers out. That makes it a challenge to close the door with that in there. We're gonna close the door and then make adjustments. And there you go, that is how I mount the hinges install the door, and make the adjustments. Like I said, we're gonna do a fine tune adjustment once everything's installed in client's house, but I try to get it close, you know, before getting there. Forgot one thing. Don't forget about the, uh, the bumpers or whatever the heck you call these things. Put these on there, uh, protects the door, protects the base, protects a lot of things, and it just makes it sound better.